Now, what this is really, in very simple words, is that cloud computing <coughs> describes a whole range of infrastructure, software, data, or applications which reside in the cloud. And what the cloud is, is something which is out of your premises, and you can access it via the internet. I think that's more understandable than the official definition that I'm sure there are millions and millions of definitions. Digital Information Society and Media has a holistic approach where it takes, wants to tackle the technical, the economic, and the social aspects we are included, which include a wide spread of issues associated with the cloud computing. Nili Cruz, Vice President of the European Commission and responsible for the Information Society and Media, said that we need a well-defined cloud computing strategy in order to ensure that we make the best use of this potential, the potential of the internet, the potential of cloud computing, which is not an end in itself. Cloud computing is a step further, which shows the potential, the dynamism of the ICT technologies. Launching the, the consultation, which has been previously mentioned by Dr. Baltak, she said that the input we are requesting from every and each one of you is to make us and help us to make everything right. Why? Why do we need cloud computing? The way I present it is more simplistic. You are going to have the opportunity to hear the experts, but I'm just giving you a little bit, a taste of what is going to come. Because it's reducing cost. The study that actually said how much the cost reduction was in real numbers, I put it somewhere so I wouldn't lose it, but I, I did. So I can't really give you the exact numbers, but trust me, and I'm sure someone else will, a lot of money is going to be saved, both in the maintenance, buying, etc., etc., of the equipment. But also, you improve the services because they're going to work faster. And in fact, the most compelling, compelling argument for cloud adoption is not the cost saving of energy, which we are going to do to see in a minute, but is the speeding up of the time company has to start trading. And that is a lot of money in our days. So that's the improving services. The opening of new business opportunities. A commission study in 2010 predicted that the global cloud market will be $70 billion by 2015, and out of this, 30% will go to European companies. It will go to Europe. We actually need that. It's very important. Additionally, a study by the University of Milan, which took place in 2010, estimated that the cloud computing has the potential to create 1.5 million, I repeat, million new jobs in Europe over the next five years. This is mind boggling. We should retain this number, 1.5 million jobs in Europe. And finally, respecting the environment, green ICT. You don't need the cooling. You don't need this. You don't need the other. We are going to look at it a little bit later, where I use cloud computing as a case study, in a way, for green ICT. I just say again, and I repeat, that cloud computing is not an end of the evolution of the internet. 
but it exemplifies the dynamic nature of the digital environment. And it also an it offers an opportunity for everybody, and especially the European Commission, to tackle existing barriers in, technolo in the technological legal framework. So what are the main cloud challenges? Interoperability. We saw this. The log and risk, the portability of da data, the security settings. That's why I mentioned in the digital agenda that interoperability and standardization is very, very important. Privacy and liability. Companies know, need to know where is their data. Whose law apply? If my data is stored in Alaska, as they said, and I live in Greece, is it Greek law? And that is what I just mentioned, that we, are, we need to tackle all these things. Who can access my data? This is also connected in a way with governance and control. What, are the use, what is the use of legal application? And of course, the security and the dependability of the system, which is very important. And you see, I've got three points down there. We don't know what else is going to come, but we need to know. Vice President Cruz announced in, Nav in Davos this year three axes for action. One is the legal framework, what I mentioned that by solving the inherent issues of the cloud computing will promote innovation and build the strong legal regulation of the future. And you see here we've got data protection, privacy law, users' rights, et cetera, et cetera. The technical and commercial part, this is also very important because it supports extended critical issues, such as security and availability of cloud services. And the Commission, as a mediator, can play a much stronger role in technical standardization, which affects both the interoperability and the portability. And also, the development of template contracts and service level 